Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the light heavyweight bout between Ed Herman versus Maximum Grishin. And how I see this one right here is, um, I think, no disrespect, like, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I just know that the UFC kind of disrespected him. Like, even his last fight, the UFC was, you know, advertising his opponent, advertising this, advertising that, but they were like, probably pretty much advertised every single person on the card or at least televised or, I don't know what the case may be. Everyone, you know, really at a certain point was card up. And like they gave them some little exposure on their Instagram page, but they like just completely skip right over Ed Herman. And I saw him in the comment section, like, why they didn't do me? I'm I'm here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And this guy has been around the UFC for a very long time. So why not just give him that respect? It's not even about respect. It's just he earns that. He's a fighter in the UFC, he's fighting that guy. Why not you gonna get advertise the other guy, advertise him too? I'm not saying like they gotta put no money in it's literally just on their Instagram. That's just a little bit of time to put something together and put it on their time. Like they had to go on there and um Put it on this website, put it on that website, or something like that. But I don't know why, like, Ed Herman, yes, he was going to lose that fight, and pretty much everyone knew he was going to lose that fight, and everybody knows he's probably going to lose this fight. But give him the bare minimum. I mean, let's give him what he, let's give him what he own. I mean, deserve. Like, man, been around forever. He's been a company man. So I don't know why the UFC, like, be treating fighters like they're so discardable. But hey, that's the business. Like, they act like this and that, and they want you to fight for them and do all the stuff for them and break your back for them. But the moment you become damaged goods or you become old, they like be so quick to throw you off and forget about you. Even the champion. So crazy. But either way, Ed Herman versus Maxim Grishin. I just think at this point, Ed Herman, he just fighting like he just getting by on I guess muscle memory at this point. Like he's and the skills. I don't feel like his body really holds up at this point anymore. It's been a lot of wars. I feel like he kinda of a little bit slower with his dinging process. I'm like, I'm making the guy out to like he's some brain damage first. But either way, even a lot of his fights, I feel like he, he just has a style where he kind of just weathers the storm and then find his moments and picks his his moments in there. So, like, maybe with these younger guys who come in there, just unloading a full clip, he can weather the storm and then start landing knees or find those opportunities and then look to take down, submit him or something or find those little shots in between and the little clinch in the ugly areas. But at the, really, at this point, that Herman is not really a viable fighter on an upward trajectory. He just kind of, like I said, he can be a good test for some of the younger guys and he can get past some of these young guys who... Coming there, like I said, guns are blazing. And then, like, they didn't go walk, walk right through him. And then he was this storm and finds his opportunity. So, but against Maxim Grisham, you got another experienced guy. As got more, well, I don't know. They, they really got around the same in the fights. But Maxim Grisham, I feel like, has way less damage. And I feel like he's still much sharper than Ed Herman at this point. And I feel like he's a cleaner, polished striker. He's very short, very pre precise with his shots, and very powerful. And I feel like he's going to be the final shots on Ed Herman. I don't feel like he had to worry about Ed Herman's takedowns at all. I feel like he can stuff the takedowns pretty well. He has underrated grappling and offensive and defensively, so he can stuff the takedowns of Ed Herman. I don't feel like he had anything to worry about Ed Herman's clinch. I feel like ultimately he's going to be the find that sh those shots on Ed Herman early and put him away early. So in this fight, I have Maximum Grishin via first-round TKO.